This is a quick demo showing how to use Simulink Design Optimization to optimize system response. In this Simulink diagram we have modeled pitch control system for a wind turbine blade. In this subsystem we have modeled hydraulic actuator using Sim Hydraulics. This actuator is driving blade actuation linkage modeled here using Sim Mechanics. The force request to the actuator is calculated by the controller that we have modeled here. What we want to do is optimize parameters of the controller, specifically of this highlighted block, to optimize system response. We want the pitch angle to quickly track the pitch command and we want the force commanded to the actuator not to exceed prescribed limits. Let's run the simulation of the model to see how it behaves before tuning. The animation here shows the movement of the blade. The plots here show the actual system response. The yellow line is the actual pitch angle and the magenta line is pitch angle request. As we can see, the system is not tracking desired trajectory very quickly. The lower plot shows the force commanded to the actuator. We will now optimize controller parameters to improve this. For that, we will go into Tools and start the response optimization. This brings up the graphical user interface for design optimization. We can use this tool to set up and run the optimization problem. We do that by working our way from left to right. We start by specifying design variables, model parameters that we want to optimize. We can select the parameters that we are interested in optimizing and add them as the variables to optimize. Next, we need to specify design requirements. Before we do that, we need to specify which model signals we need to evaluate against the requirements. When we get this dialog, we need to bring the model to the front, click on the signal that we are interested in. Now the signal shows up here, we select it and add it. Next, we can create a new design requirement. For example, to specify bounds on the signal value, we specify the signal that we want to bound, we specify the type of bounds, and then we specify the values of the bound. We click OK and that creates a new plot showing us this requirement. Now in the interest of saving time, I'm going to load the optimization session that I pre-created and saved before. I saved it in the model workspace, so I'm going to load it from there. I'm now going to make all the plots aligned so we can see them together. And as you can see, I have set up two design requirements here. One is on the pitch angle and another one is on the actuator force. I also set up a plot here for monitoring how the design parameters are changing as we run the optimization. We are now ready to start the optimization. As optimization starts, we get a new plot here in the lower right that shows us the progress of the optimization process. We now see the initial design that is not meeting the requirements and as we go through iterations we see that the parameter values are changing and we get closer and closer to meeting design requirements until after four iterations in this case the optimization process converges to parameter values that meet all design requirements. So in summary you saw how you can use Simulink Design Optimization to quickly tune model parameters to provide desired system response. This concludes the demo.